Welcome to the Rinsky 3-Minute Share. Hey, happy people. Rin here. And today we're going to talk about the art of surrender. Uh, surrender just keeps coming up in my life. Like over the past two days, it's come up nine different times and nine different um, places on the music, on what I'm reading and people I'm talking to. So it's something I think I should be working on, right? So it is, and it's beautiful. Now, it might not seem beautiful on first glance because surrender, we think of some beat up, weak, little paltry, puny thing, like waving a little busted up white flag. But that's not really what surrender gives you. Surrender gives you power and beauty, believe it or not. Um, because when you admit that you are defeated, hey, you're bigger than me, I don't got this. Whatever you're fighting against, instead of trying to fight back with you, all of a sudden is deflated. It has nowhere to go. It's like, oh, okay. And then you don't engage with it. You don't make it bigger with your own fighting and struggling and it goes away or it becomes your friend. You'll see what I mean with one of my, I have two examples uh, this in this week's blog, but we'll get to one of them here in the, in the video. And it's uh, surrendering to a bunch of skinheads. It was 1988 and I was on the streets of New York and I was sitting on a sidewalk with all these dessert plates I had found in the garbage and drew all over with Sharpie marker because I was going to be a famous writer and artist. And this is how you start um, selling repurposed dessert plates on the sidewalks of New York on Avenue A in Alphabet City at 2 a.m. So it's me and pretty much no one else except this bunch of tough looking punks who come up and they say, oh, well, you know, the one of them says, hey, what would you do if we took all your plates and smashed them all on the street? And I, surrender came to me naturally. I said, well, nothing. And instead of being, oh my God, don't do that, please, please, you know, and engaging and making them uh, more energized to harass me, they knew they won. So what happened next? The, the guy sat down next to me, oh, can I bum a cigarette? And we were talking and laughing for like an hour or more into the early morning. So it saved my life there. And the big surrender was to alcoholism. Um, but if you want to hear more. Alcohol had me beat. It's bigger than me. It's badder than me. It had me down. And I just told it, you got me. But you are not bigger and badder than my God. So that's where the whole spiritual aspect comes in. And the dogs totally agree. Surrender is a beautiful thing. So learn more or um, if you want to you know, talk to me about it, please. I offer free coaching calls. You can learn more at RinskyRecovery.com. And don't forget that I help amazingly creative people who want more out of life than sleep, work, sleep, get their dazzle back so they rock their world. Until next time.